I've been growing the purple tomato in my urban organic garden for over two years and I get a multitude of questions about it, so let's get into it. I'd been following the purple tomato project for years, so when the first seeds became available in February 2024, I jumped on them. I grew them that first season and again in 2025. These are indeterminate plants that germinate easily, grow quickly, and produce heavily. Now let's talk flavor. Personally, I find them rich and delicious, and they're my second favorite cherry tomato overall, topped only by the sun gold. But the real reason I think they're worth planting is the nutrition and the aesthetic. They're loaded with anthocyanins, the antioxidants that give them their striking purple color and their visual appeal is unlike anything else you'll see in the garden. I'll definitely be growing them again next year and probably for many years to come. As for the GMO or bioengineered factor, I get the concern, but this isn't a roundup ready situation or some corporate seed trap. It's simply the result of science being applied to improve nutrition through a food we all eat on a regular basis. If you're still hesitant, you could grow something like the indigo rose, a conventionally bred variety that develops a purple blush on its skin, though nutritionally not quite in the same league and not purple all the way through. Now, as for the seed costs, I totally get it. When I paid $20 for my first packet of seeds, it was quite the pill to swallow compared to most seeds that top out at around $5 a packet. That said, if you grow it once, you can save a multitude of seeds for yourself and grow it for many years to come. Either way, adding more colors to your garden and your diet will only make the both of them better.